The skeletons of giants being found in Lovelock Cave in northern Nevada. Also one of the most puzzling and notorious murders in Iowa history since the Velisca Axe murders. Still many unanswered questions in this horrific case. Thigh bones stacked up in places. You'll have skulls stacked in other places. It's almost like a warehouse of human bones. In an astonishing turn of events, scientists just opened a cave that was sealed for millions of years and made a shocking discovery. As they ventured into the depths of the mysterious cavern, their flashlights revealed a breathtaking sight. A sprawling underground ecosystem teeming with otherworldly organisms emitted an ethereal glow. The scientists could hardly believe their eyes, and it was as if they had stumbled upon an alien world hidden beneath the Earth's surface, challenging everything they thought they knew about life and our planet's history. Join us in this video as we unearth the 15 most disturbing discoveries uncovered in caverns. Number 15. The Mobile Cave in Romania in the year 1986, the discovery of the Mobile Cave in Romania marked a significant milestone in scientific exploration. This cave, though modest in size and featuring constricted passageways ensconced in clay, stood as a testament to nature's awe-inspiring wonders. Scientists, upon opening the cave that was sealed for millions of years, made one of the most shocking discoveries till date. The unlocking of this cave's mysteries represented a monumental advancement that challenged prevailing conceptions regarding terrestrial life. For an extended duration, the Mobile Cave remained hermetically sealed from the external environment, resulting in a dearth of fresh air and the creation of a noxious atmosphere. Remarkably, within these inhospitable confines, novel life forms manifested and flourished. A staggering tally of 48 distinct species was unveiled by diligent scientists, encompassing a diverse array including spiders, scorpions, and centipedes. Most intriguingly, 33 of these species existed exclusively within the confines of the Mobile Cave. The enigma surrounding the survival of these organisms within the cave's toxic milieu prompted profound contemplation among experts. It was ultimately revealed that these creatures had harnessed a process termed chemosynthesis, akin to photosynthesis in plants. This process transformed harmful gases into food for bacteria, which formed the basis of the cave's food chain. Smaller creatures in the cave depended on these bacteria for food, while larger animals like worms, shrimp, spiders, and scorpions preyed on the smaller ones. This intricate cycle created a self-sustaining ecosystem, allowing life to thrive in the cave. Scientists are fascinated by this discovery because we're not sure how these creatures originally got into the cave. It's believed that the bacteria have been there for more than five million years, and the animals might have entered through an opening that later closed. Faced with these challenges, these animals adapted and evolved to survive with limited resources, showing the incredible resilience of life. Number 14. The Cave of the Cannibals In 2016, a group of daring archaeologists ventured deep into the heart of a Belgian cave, never expecting the spine-chilling discovery that awaited them. As they delved further into the eerie darkness, their torches revealed a bone-chilling tableau, human bones, scattered and broken, bearing gruesome signs of butchery. These skeletal remains told a macabre tale of brutality that sent shivers down their spines. It was as though these ancient Neanderthals had met a gruesome end, their bones bearing the marks of a savage hand. Some bones had been brutally cracked open, revealing the marrow within, while others bore the telltale scars of sharp knives deftly separating flesh from bone. The implications were horrifying. The timeline of this blood-curdling discovery stretched back in time, some 40 to 45,000 years ago. These were the Neanderthals who had once called Belgium their home. What was most perplexing, however, was the unnecessary nature of their actions. Cannibalism was known to our prehistoric ancestors, but this took it to a whole new level, Neanderthals feasting upon their kind. Were they driven by an insatiable hunger that pushed them to commit these unspeakable acts? Or perhaps it was a dark, ritualistic ceremony that bound them together in a sinister way. 
Could it have been a deep-seated bloodlust that ruled their primitive minds, or was it the desperate struggle for survival that forced them into these macabre deeds? The shadows of time cloak their true motivations, leaving us with haunting questions. What drove these Neanderthals to turn on their kind with such ferocity? Did they seek to stave off extinction, or were they trapped in a spiral of violence from which there was no escape? We look forward to your opinions in the comments. Number 13. Cave Filled with Cups Something quite eerie and unsettling came to light in 2011 archaeologists. Those brave adventurers of history uncovered an astonishing relic from over 14,000 years ago. Cups fashioned from human skulls, made from the very craniums that once held the thoughts and dreams of our distant ancestors. It's a macabre discovery that chills the bones, pun intended. Imagine stumbling upon a heap of bones, and then realizing those bones were not just forlorn remains, but tools crafted from human skeletons. The shock of it is enough to make you wonder if you'd ever dare to sip from such a vessel. Most likely you wouldn't. But our forebears, those enigmatic beings of the past, thought nothing of it. These eerie skull cups were unearthed in a Somerset cave. They were meticulously assembled from the skulls of two adults and a three-year-old child. The very idea sends shivers down one's spine. The stuff of horror stories, isn't it? The saving grace in this bizarre tale is that the individuals whose skulls were turned into cups probably didn't meet a grisly end for this macabre purpose. Instead, they likely succumbed to natural causes, making this strange tradition a post-mortem curiosity. So the next time you sip from an ordinary cup, consider the strange and unsettling history of those ancient skull cups. It's a haunting reminder that the past is a realm of mysteries, where traditions and practices are sometimes stranger than our wildest imaginations. Number 12. Hellfire Caves Deep beneath the rolling hills of West Wickham, England, lies a hidden world of darkness and intrigue, the enigmatic Hellfire Caves. These subterranean labyrinths, hewn into existence over two centuries ago, stretch some 300 feet below the surface, shrouded in an aura of mystique that continues to captivate explorers to this day. But these are not just any caves. They were meticulously carved for a secret society known as the Hellfire Club. Forget the notion of rock stars and poets. This exclusive society was populated by influential figures of their time, including the likes of John Wilkes and the esteemed Benjamin Franklin, who graced the caves as an honored guest. Within these eerie, candlelit chambers, the club members would congregate for their clandestine gatherings. Drunken toasts echoed through the tunnels, meetings were shrouded in secrecy, and mock rituals were conducted. Whispers of unspeakable deeds swirled around their activities, although concrete evidence remains elusive. The cave's dark history is further mired in tales of lingering spirits. Some claim to have glimpsed the ethereal figure of Suki, a bride whose tragic fate was sealed within these ominous walls. Pranked into a meeting with her groom, Tsuki's joy turned to rage upon realizing the cruel jest. A barrage of stones was exchanged, and Suki met her untimely demise, her life extinguished by a fateful blow. It is said that even the club's founder, Francis Dashwood himself, refuses to rest in peace, his spectral presence still haunting the dim recesses of the Hellfire Caves. Witnesses report eerie orbs of light and the echoing murmurs of disembodied voices, lending an eerie atmosphere to this subterranean realm. Should you dare to venture into the depths of the Hellfire Caves, do so with caution. This is no place for the faint of heart, especially those who harbor a deep-seated aversion to encounters with the otherworldly. Number 11. Prehistoric Shark In the heart of Kentucky's Mammoth Cave, an ancient secret lurks beneath the Earth's surface, one that would send shockwaves through the annals of science and plunge us deep into the mysteries of prehistory. This sprawling underground maze, renowned as the world's longest cave system, concealed a revelation that defied imagination, a fossilized shark head. Imagine stumbling upon the remains of a creature that roamed the seas more than 330 million years ago, a time long before humans walked the earth. This wasn't just any shark. It rivaled the size of today's formidable great white sharks. What made this discovery even more extraordinary was the rarity of it all. 
Sharks, you see, aren't known for leaving behind fossils. Their bodies, mostly composed of cartilage, typically vanish into the abyss of time. Yet, deep within the intricate passages of Mammoth Cave, scientists unearthed a treasure trove of this ancient predator. Astonishingly, several parts of its body remained remarkably intact, a testament to the cave's unique preservation powers. The centerpiece of this astonishing find was the shark's lower jaw, stretching an impressive two and a half feet. This prehistoric leviathan, frozen in time, provided an invaluable window into the distant past, a glimpse into an era when giant predators ruled the ancient seas. This remarkable discovery shook the foundations of paleontology and raised a tantalizing question. What other secrets lie entombed within the limestone walls of Mammoth Cave? Could there be more fossils, perhaps even more awe-inspiring than this prehistoric shark waiting to be unearthed in the depths of this subterranean world? Well, it's only a matter of time. Number 10. The Altamura Man in the year 1933, deep within the mysterious caves of southern Italy, a team of daring explorers stumbled upon a mind-boggling discovery that would send shockwaves through the scientific community. What they found was nothing short of astonishing, a human skull concealed beneath a thick veil of calcite formations. This was no ordinary skull. It was trapped within what scientists cryptically term a karst borehole, or, in simpler terms, a sinkhole. This sinkhole was not just a lifeless pit. It was a realm where the ceaseless dance of running water and the patient artistry of limestone gave birth to stunning stalactite creations. And at the heart of this bizarre spectacle lay the mysterious Ultima Man, a name bestowed upon this trapped soul by the world of science. Yet nearly three decades since its discovery, the experts remain locked in a puzzling dilemma. They dare not excavate this ancient prisoner, fearing irreversible harm, so they do nothing but weave theories about the fate that befell this unfortunate individual, whose head and a portion of one shoulder are all that see the light of day. Here's their compelling theory. Ages ago, a lone man tumbled into a natural well, isolated without a lifeline. Unable to free himself, he endured days of torment until starvation snuffed out his life. The very cave that trapped him gradually took over, preserving his remains. As time flowed, his bones merged with the encroaching limestone deposits, creating a calcite-rich stalactite spectacle. Initial estimates hinted at an age between 40 to 60,000 years. But through the years, groundbreaking aging and genetic techniques revealed the astonishing truth. The Altamura man was, in fact, a Neanderthal who walked the earth a staggering 190 years ago. He was a young adult, his two missing teeth hinting at dental struggles. This astonishing discovery ignited a fire of curiosity among scientists, posing many questions that are yet unanswered. Number 9. Crystallized Human Sacrifice Far-reaching in the heart of Belize lies a mysterious archaeological marvel known as Action Tunakil Muknal, or more mystically, the Cave of the Crystal Sepulchre. This isn't your run-of-the-mill cave. Once you venture into the cave's depths, you'll be met with a chilling tableau of human skeletons, strewn amidst ornate ceremonial relics and ancient embellishments. Some of these unfortunate souls rest upon altars, their bones spanning the spectrum from innocent children to seasoned adults. Yet, amidst this macabre tread, one figure stands out, the Crystal Maiden. This ill-fated 17-year-old, initially mistaken for a girl, met a gruesome fate. His skeletal remains are transformed into a grotesque sculpture adorned with shimmering calcium crystals. It's a sight that will haunt your dreams. This subterranean labyrinth harks back to a bygone era, existing between 250 A.D. and 909 A.D. According to the ancient Maya, it was a sacred conduit to the gods who governed agriculture and rainfall. In their quest to appease these deities, humans were sacrificed within its cavernous embrace. Getting to Aktun Tunakil Muknal is no easy feat. You must be in peak physical condition to swim your way to its concealed entrance. Only two tour operators are permitted to guide visitors into this national monument. If you crave spine-tingling adventure and possess the endurance to navigate its watery passages, Action Tunakil Muknal beckons you. 
You'll be in for a journey that will send shivers down your spine and serve you an unforgettable lesson in history that will remain with you long after you've emerged from its shadowy depths. Number 8. Paris Catacombs Beneath the romantic streets of Paris lies a realm of darkness, a chilling underworld that defies the city's enchanting facade. The Paris Catacombs, the largest of their kind in the world, comprises a sprawling 2,000-acre labyrinth that harbors the macabre remnants of countless souls. While they may not be the oldest catacombs globally, they undoubtedly rank among the most ominous. In the 18th century, a gruesome problem plagued Paris, a relentless tide of death. Overcrowded cemeteries turned into breeding grounds for disease, forcing the city to devise a nightmarish solution, a subterranean maze of death. It is here, beneath the bustling streets, that six million skeletal inhabitants find their eerie resting place. Yet, what's even more spine-tingling is that the majority of the catacombs remain untouched by human feet, an enigmatic abyss where darkness conceals untold secrets. These untouched chambers beckon the daring and the curious, but venturing in alone is a perilous endeavor. Urban explorers have long been drawn to the catacombs, forming secret gatherings within the subterranean crypts. These brave souls navigate the dimly lit corridors, but the catacombs' sheer scale ensures that most of its secrets remain buried in obscurity. Paris, a city renowned for its romance, conceals beneath its cobblestone streets a sinister underbelly. The Paris catacombs are a haunting affirmation of humanity's struggle with mortality, where a sprawling necropolis of bones stands as a chilling reminder of a bygone era. Number 7. World Oldest Winery Imagine savoring a glass of wine to unwind after a tiring day, but what if I told you that deep within the mountain caves of Armenia, a revelation emerged that would revolutionize our understanding of wine's history? Archaeologists have unearthed a find that defies belief, an ancient winemaking facility, a time capsule dating back over 6,000 years. This astounding discovery predates the earliest known wine found in the tombs of the Egyptian pyramids by nearly a millennium. It's a discovery that doesn't just rewrite history, it paints a vivid picture of the dawn of red wine production. The enigmatic treasure trove of this ancient wine stash is beyond remarkable, demonstrating that caves can harbor secrets that baffle the imagination. Inside these caves, astonishingly well-preserved relics emerged. Wood, leather, and other organic materials, hidden away for millennia, lay in splendid condition. The dry, isolated climate of the cave system acted as a guardian, preserving these precious remnants of antiquity. It's as though time stood still, allowing us a glimpse into an ancient craft that had long eluded us. This groundbreaking find reshapes our understanding of winemaking and human history. The past we once thought we knew now requires revision. This revelation is a reminder that the past is not set in stone, but etched into the very earth we tread upon. With this newfound knowledge, we shall update our history books, allowing this ancient winemaking facility to take its rightful place as a cornerstone of our understanding of human ingenuity and the enduring allure of wine. This is surely inspiring, but the next might leave you with a lot of questions. Number 6. 17 Miniature Coffins High above Edinburgh's historic Old Town stands a distinctive and enchanting landmark, Arthur's Seat, a picturesque volcanic hill. This extraordinary hill transcends mere geology, for it is shrouded in an aura of history and mystery that has perplexed generations. Some even claim it could be the very site of King Arthur's mythical Camelot, a place where legends and reality intertwine. But the strangest tale to ever emerge from this enigmatic hill dates back to June 1836. Amid a carefree rabbit hunting expedition, a group of boys stumbled upon an enigmatic discovery that still baffles the world. Concealed amidst slender slabs of slate on Arthur's seat's northeast slope lay 17 tiny coffins. Their origin and purpose remain shrouded in uncertainty, a riddle that defies explanation. Each coffin, measuring just 95 millimeters in length, was carefully crafted from wood and contained small wooden figures adorned in finely tailored clothing, resembling miniature dolls. Two rows of eight coffins formed a base, with a solitary coffin perched on top. To this day, 
17 of these peculiar coffins are on display at the National Museum of Scotland. Upon their discovery, speculations ran wild. Some believed they symbolized a form of honorific burial, yet the identities of those interred within remained a mystery. In 1906, a woman in Edinburgh added another layer of intrigue when she recounted her father's interactions with a mysterious deaf mute known as Mr. B. This man had drawn a picture resembling the miniature coffins and marked them with the years 1837, 1838, and 1840 coinciding with the deaths of relatives. Rumors swirled. Could these coffins be tied to German seafaring superstitions or the notorious murderers Burke and Hare, who claimed 17 lives in Edinburgh. Despite numerous theories, Arthur Seat's 17 miniature coffins continue to baffle and captivate, their origin and purpose remaining one of history's most enduring enigmas. The hill once believed to be a portal to Camelot now stands as a portal to a world of mystery and fascination, where history, legend, and the inexplicable converge to boggle the minds of all who dare to contemplate its secrets. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Scientists just opened a cave that was sealed for millions of years, but made a shocking discovery. Upon entering the site and examining its surroundings, scientists were immediately fascinated by the carvings on the walls. This marked a significant moment as they encountered the first non-human species known to bury their deceased members. These symbols, carefully carved above the graves, revealed an extraordinary aspect of their existence. Homo naledi, with a brain size about one-third that of humans but slightly larger than chimpanzees, provided a profound revelation. They found themselves among the first humans to understand the meaning behind symbols created by a species that lived hundreds of thousands of years ago. This unexpected discovery was both astonishing and surprising. Their understanding of this mysterious species expanded greatly when they uncovered numerous individuals in 2013. However, they only had their physical remains due to their remote habitat. While they could describe their anatomy as having small heads, being tall and having slender bodies, they remained unaware of their behavioral patterns. Yet, in just 72 hours, their knowledge transformed from virtually nothing to encompass their entire culture. They discovered their use of fire, the presence of intricate symbols, and adjacent chambers containing the remains of animals they either consumed or used in ceremonies. This shifted their role from studying anatomy to becoming cultural anthropologists, revising their initial hypotheses about burial practices. They ventured into the challenging 12-meter cave, navigating passages as narrow as a person's head to gain first-hand insights. The experience was demanding but highly rewarding as they observed petroglyphs of an entirely different species for the first time in history. This research has profound implications, challenging the idea of human exceptionalism solely based on brain size. Homo naledi's accomplishments highlight that our uniqueness is not solely defined by our brain power, offering a new perspective on our position in the natural world. Let us know what you think about this discovery. Number 5. 170,000-year-old roasted vegetables. Imagine journeying back in time, not to the era of ferocious mammoths and saber-toothed tigers, but to a South African cave where our ancient ancestors left behind a culinary secret. Deep within the border cave, scientists made an astonishing discovery that rewrote the menu of our prehistoric forebears. These intrepid explorers unearthed charred remnants of root vegetables, an astounding 170,000 years old, Yes, you read that right. Vegetables roasted to perfection by early humans. This revelation shattered the caveman stereotype of meat-eating brutes. What's truly remarkable is that our ancestors were not just carnivores. They had a sophisticated palate, a blend of veggies and protein. Archaeologists pieced together this ancient puzzle through meticulous analysis under their microscopes. Years of detective work were needed to identify these charred treasures as rhizomes from the Hypoxis genus. Rhizomes, for the uninitiated, are the subterranean plant stems, hidden gems beneath the Earth's surface. Now, what about the taste? These hypoxic rhizomes aren't your ordinary potatoes. They boast a yam-like flavor, a tantalizing twist. Early humans evidently couldn't resist their starchy goodness, making them a regular part of their diet. 
This discovery tosses aside the misconception that our ancestors were mere meat enthusiasts. They appreciated balance in their diet, just like we do. But not all hypoxia rhizomes are created equal. There's one, Hypoxis hemorocolidia, or the African potato, with a bitter taste, reserved more for medicinal purposes than for feasting. The border cave dwellers likely savored a different species, with its delectable, white-fleshed rhizomes like Hypoxis angustifolia. So, the next time you savor a roasted vegetable, remember that you're partaking in a culinary tradition that dates back 170,000 years. Number 4. 100-Year-Old Axe Murder Imagine a tale woven with threads of darkness and mystery, a chronicle that unfolds like a nightmarish fable for those who revel in the sinister tales of the past. Meet Joseph Henry Loveless, a name that may have eluded your ears until now. Born in the year 1870, Loveless embarked on a life journey fraught with twists and turns. Raised within the embrace of devoutly religious parents, he began his chapter of existence by uniting in matrimony with Harriet Jane Hattie Savage. Their union bore fruit in the form of a child, but alas, their love could not stand the test of time. In 1904, divorce tore them asunder. Loveless did not find solace in tranquility or the joys of family life. Instead, he was drawn into the abyss of criminality. Time and again, he found himself ensnared in the clutches of the law for minor transgressions, yet every time, he managed to elude capture. Then, in the fateful year of 1916, he committed an act so heinous it sent shivers down the spines of all who heard of it. The murder of his wife, Agnes Octavia Caldwell. The authorities apprehended him, but, like a wraith, he slipped away, vanishing into the obscurity of the unknown. For decades, his whereabouts remained a riddle, until a chilling discovery emerged in 1979. A family on the quest for arrowheads stumbled upon his torso in a cave nestled in the heart of eastern Idaho. It was a macabre puzzle that left them haunted. His arms, hand, and two legs remained elusive, hidden in the same cave system for 12 more years. Then, in the year 2019, a beacon of hope emerged in the form of the DNA Doe Project, a nonprofit organization determined to unravel the mystery. Through the marvels of modern science, they uncovered the identity of the dismembered remains, the merciless criminal, Henry Loveless. Yet the shadows of this story remain deep, concealing the true orchestrator of Loveless's demise. In this haunting narrative, one cannot help but ponder the timeless wisdom that exhorts us not to inflict upon others that which we would recoil from ourselves. Number 3. Crone of the Catskills while trekking the rugged trails of New York's Catskill Mountains, two adventurous hikers stumbled upon an eerie discovery that would haunt their dreams for years to come. Venturing far off the beaten path into a secluded cave, their sense of curiosity led them to a chilling encounter. Hidden away in a dim corner of the cave, they spotted an enigmatic figurine. This was no ordinary statue. It was a wooden effigy with six rusty nails cruelly driven through its eye sockets. To make matters worse, a tight noose encircled its neck, hinting at a sinister past. One of the friends, against all better judgment, couldn't resist the allure of the voodoo-like doll and decided to bring it home. Little did he know that this decision would soon turn his life into a living nightmare. The moment the figurine entered his home, it began to exhibit an unsettling life of its own. Muddy footprints appeared mysteriously on his floors, and a putrid stench permeated the air. The situation escalated to the point where loud, unexplained banging would jolt him awake in the dead of night, and phantom knocks echoed at his front door, yet no one was ever there. Terrified for his life, the hiker realized he was dealing with an artifact harboring malevolent forces beyond comprehension. Desperate to be rid of this cursed item, he entrusted it to a local museum, hoping to break the sinister connection that had been forged. This cautionary tale serves as a chilling reminder. Never under any circumstances should you bring strange and foreboding objects found in caves into your home. You never know what malevolent entities they may harbor, especially if they bear symbols of torment like rusty nails and a tight noose. Such items are a harbinger of nothing but darkness and despair. This is rather a frightening warning, and the next discovery might portend an even more frightening tale.
Number 2. Bird Carving Early this year, within the hidden recesses of Hollowfell's cave in the heart of Germany, a wondrous artifact emerged from the Earth's embrace. A small, exquisite bird sculpture crafted from the ancient tusks of mammoths. What made this avian masterpiece truly extraordinary was its staggering age, surpassing 30,000 years. This finely chiseled piece of art served as a portal into the mysterious world of shamanism. Imagine a water bird adorned with a horse's head and a magnificent lion's mane, an awe-inspiring, fantastical creature. In the realm of shamanic practice, birds, especially waterfowl, held a revered place as symbols of great significance. This humble carving bolstered the belief that birds played a pivotal role in the spiritual lives of early humans. The bird's head, eyes, and gracefully extended neck breathed life into the ancient ivory, making it appear almost capable of taking flight. The artist behind this masterpiece, whose name has long been lost to the sands of time, would surely swell with pride, knowing their creation now claims the title of the oldest known bird representation in human history. However, this remarkable bird was not alone in its ancient artistry. In a cave nestled in the French wilderness, an owl figurine stood as its silent companion. Though reminiscent of the cave paintings attributed to our rugged Neanderthal cousins, research revealed that these treasures were the handiwork of early modern humans. Carbon dating unveiled their astonishing age, crafted meticulously between 28,000 to 35,000 years ago. Number 1. Translucent Snails Deep within the mysterious depths of Croatia's Lukina Jama Trojama cave system, a courageous crew of spelunkers and intrepid biologists stumbled upon a revelation like no other. As they ventured into the abyss, one of the world's deepest caves ranked among Earth's top 20, their quest was far from ordinary. These explorers embarked on a journey that would unveil an astonishing secret concealed 3,200 feet beneath the surface. In their relentless pursuit of the unknown, this audacious team uncovered an unprecedented species of snail. Yet, these were no run-of-the-mill garden snails. They were creatures of sheer wonder and peculiarity, translucent beings belonging to the Zospium genus. Along their perilous odyssey, as they diligently collected biological specimens, their eyes met the minuscule form of a snail, unlike anything documented in the annals of science. Dubbed Zospium thalussum, this astonishing creature defied conventional snail norms. It bore a luminous dome-shaped shell, resembling a work of art crafted by nature itself. These extraordinary snails meandered at an almost glacial pace, advancing mere millimeters or centimeters each week, often trapped in circular trajectories. Their unhurried existence mirrored their comfortable cave abode, where they grazed leisurely. When these newfound wonders were presented to the discerning eye of taxonomist Alexander Weigand in Germany, his verdict was unequivocal. A virgin species, previously unknown to science, had been unveiled. As these intrepid explorers and biologists peered deeper into the heart of our planet, they uncovered a world hitherto concealed from human understanding. Which of these discoveries did you find the most intriguing? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.